Hey everyone, Robert Fedorik here. Welcome back to Exploring with Explore. It's so good to have you here. Last time we talked about using user data to do stuff with plain strings. So for example, if I just add hello world in the user data tab, I can use my scripting tab to work with that. So I'm just going to push it to lowercase and run. And my output has hello world in lowercase. But what if my user data is significantly more structured? And this would be really super valuable when you're troubleshooting integrations and you want to contend with payloads that are in JSON or XML. So let's pretend I've got a chunk of JSON from God knows where, and I want to script with it in service now. We're going to go to our format selector here and pick JSON. We could also do XML or XML document two. And I'm going to paste my string in. Oh God, that's ugly. Ooh, a prettify button. So I'm just going to click the prettify button and now my JSON is nice and pretty to look at. Not only is it pretty, but check this out. Because I've defined this user data as a JSON object, it's already decoded. See, let's just check what the email property is of the employee at position four. So I'm going to user data employees position four dot email. And I run that. And Explore has John Smith at example.com. Yeah, but Robert, I could have done that in any other online JSON editor. Sure, but can you work with the JSON object with ServiceNow objects and methods? Many of the users you see in this JSON object are actually in my user table. Let me see which ones aren't. I made a quick and dirty function that for every position in the JSON object runs a function called findUser. And findUser just does a glide record query to the user table using that JSON object's position, user ID, to do a lookup. If it does not find a corresponding user, it sends out an error message saying which user wasn't found and at what position they were at. So let's run that. And I see my error message, Rory Fnort has not been found. He is position seven in the JSON object. So we've successfully used Explore to work with foreign structured data using ServiceNow functions and methods. No crazy background script gymnastics, no external tools. Let's see your online JSON editors do that. Remember friends, Explore is free and has a single most downloaded and highest rated app on Share. Also, if you want ServiceNow guidance with the passion and understanding demonstrated here, check the description for how to contact me. Smash the like and share buttons for good karma.